In today's interest rate markets, let's take a look at the 10-year note futures as they're realizing some selling pressure today. 10-year note futures coming off a three-week high in the previous session, closing above the 111 handle, but currently priced at 110 spot 23. So back below the 111 handle, still near the top end of the recent range, but giving up some ground today. And I think when you look at some of the factors contributing to the price action, we got a new week here ahead of us with several uh, data points and Fed testimony being highlighted. And it does appear the markets, after a nice strong move last week, are reassessing some of the recent price action as the anticipation builds for the Fed testimony, the Fed chairman on Capitol Hill in the middle of the week, and the jobs data on Friday. As uh, again, the Fed has been pointing to the jobs market as one of the determining factors as how to as how rates might uh, move later this year and so these are i think being priced into the market to some degree several fed speakers as well uh influencing the markets this week and so you're seeing yields uh, moving a little bit higher here today after coming off quite a bit last week and pretty much really seeing that uh initiated across the entire curve today when you look at the price action so the 10-year yield is up four basis points today to 422 basis points currently and we are seeing the inversion uh in steepen or increase today when you look at the price action in various parts of the curve with the short dated treasury selling off more so than the back dated treasuries we're looking at a two-year yield up about seven and a half basis points today and uh, again the shorter dated notes are selling off uh, moving those yields higher uh, relative to the back end of the curve which is selling off some but the yields are not up as much, so therefore the inversion is uh, increasing today. As the market's really looking now uh, to uh, offset maybe some of the price action last week, uh, particularly in the shorter end of the curve, as we now move into what will be a very pivotal week for the Treasury markets with the Fed testimony uh, in the middle of the week, as well as the jobs data report on Friday.